Okay, welcome back baseball fans. Um, we're back with the uh, Appa Master Game tutorial series. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together um, a runner advancement situation. Uh, but it's trying to get the most complex uh, one you can get. So um, when you have bases loaded, uh, you have a lot of things going on here in the Master Game. Um, so um, what I'm going to look at here, because obviously if you have a bases loaded situation, a guy gets a single to right, uh, we, we know the guy on uh, third is going to automatically score. Let's get this, uh, move my cars there so you guys can see it. Move this back here. All right. So we know um, the runner on third is going to score automatically on a single. And then we're going to have a possibility of the guy on second scoring, depending on the hit value. And then you also have a possibility of the guy on first going to third on the single. And then whether or not that guy is going to advance on the hit or if he's going to advance on the throw. Which, um, and hopefully this is one of the last ones I do in this runner advancement. So I'm going to try to encapsulate the most difficult um, situation you can run into. Um, so the master game in these situations is a little bit easier if you're keeping score um, by hand. So let's set up a situation here. We'll run through it and I'll show you guys um, some tricks. Hopefully this helps um, explain the base running of a master game. So um, we're going to have bases loaded here. And these are the 2022 projection cards. Um, Apple is giving away with their sets right now. So we have uh, Manny Machado as a base runner on third. Um, base run on second is Robbie Grossman from the Tigers. Um, run on first is Ty France from the Mariners. And our right fielder in this play is going to be Alex Kirloff um, from the Twins. Um, our catcher, our defensive catcher here is going to be Tyler Stevenson. And we're going to say at the plate here, uh, batting righty is going to be um, Jose Adolis Garcia from the uh, Rangers. Um, so what I'm going to simulate here, and I kind of want to show you guys um, some little tips here on how to do this. So let's, I'm going to write up this line up real quick to kind of show you how it uh, helps to have the um, info on paper versus, um, it really helps the master game if you have it all on paper. But you could do this in your head, no problem at all. Okay, so let's say this is a situation. So Marchado was the leadoff batter, got on base. Grossman was second, third. So these three guys got on base, and now up is uh, Garcia. Okay, and let's say Garcia rolls a uh, bases loaded uh, play result. Uh, let's say it rolls play result nine. Um, let's just say there's two outs. I know that was the first four batters I wrote down, but let's just say there's two outs. So if you remember on the um, the quiz there. So the first number is for zero or one outs. The second number near, near the star is for when there's two outs. Um, so let's just say for this example that there is uh, one out in the situation. Actually, we'll say it's no outs since that's what we have written down. So there's no outs. So Adolis Garcia gets the play result nine. Let's say you rolled a 51-9. So you gotta look at your hit values. So, um, so we're looking at the first number since there's no out. So uh, for the runner on second to advance home, it's a 38 hit value. Uh, for the runner on first to go to third, uh, it's the 41. So remember on a single, everyone automatically takes one base. Um, and then what you're determining what the hit value is if they're going to be taking the extra base. So I'm going to show you how you want to think through this when you're playing the master game. Uh, so if I get that uh, play result 9, and I see there's only one play, there is a cutoff option here too, which we'll also even incorporate. So first thing we're going to do is we want to get what's the chance of this guy on second scoring. So that would be uh, where the chance of Grossman scoring. So let's do the play here. So Garcia gets the hit. Okay, so Machado comes in to score. He's in. Okay, Grossman automatically takes third on a single. France automatically goes a second on a single. So now what we're going to check first is Grossman's chance of scoring um, based on uh, Kirloff's arm. So if you remember, it's uh, the play result nine. 
uh, 38 is the hit value. So we take 38 and we're going to subtract Kirloff's arm and his arm rating is uh, 32. So 38 minus 32 is 6. And remember we're going to add in Grossman's speed. So Grossman's speed is a 10, so it's 16. So what I would suggest, when you have multiple base runner situations like that, um, write down that 16 on your um, on your score sheet. Because what you want to do, and this is very important with this particular play, is you want to calculate first what the uh, chance values are for um, all the runners. So we know Machado scored. So we know Grossman has a chance uh, 16. And um, let's, let's see what France's um, advanced number is for going to third. So remember back on our uh, chart, so it's a uh, so we're looking at the first number, so it's 41 is France's hit value. And you do the same, um, use the same arm of Kirilov. So 41 uh, minus 32, so that's a 42, so that's 9. And then we're going to add in France's speed of uh, 9, so it's 18. All right, so, so we have chance values of 16 for Grossman, 18 for France. So at this point, so once you've calculated that, um, the offensive manager decides um, if one, if Grossman's going to advance on the throw, or maybe uh, if he advances on the, um, I'm sorry, on the hit, uh, will France advance on the hit? So you have to decide if they're going to go on the hit first. So let's say um, I'm the offensive manager, and I say I want them both to advance on the hit. So these are my chance numbers. So then what the defensive manager has to do is decide which of these two guys he's going to try to throw out. Is he going to try to throw out Grossman trying to score? Or is he going to try to throw out France trying to go to third? And just remember, this is on the hit. Okay, so let's just say that um, Grossman, he said, I'm just going to try to throw for Grossman trying to score. Now, since the offensive manager decided to send France on the hit, France is automatically going to get the third safe unless I cut it off. You'll see that here in a moment. So let's go for, um, let's look at the uh, dice roll for Grossman to, to score here. So Grossman's going to score on a hit value. Let's see, 16. What's that going to put us? Okay, so if Grossman's a 16. Uh, so he had to roll 34 or less. Okay, so now I'm going to decide, um, since I decided both to go on the hit and I've decided to throw for Grossman, um, and France is automatically going to go to third uh, on the hit, uh, the play is just to um, Grossman. So let's roll and see what Grossman can do here. So he needs a, what was that, a 34 or less to be safe. 35 he's out so how that play goes so since um, I decided to throw home to get Grossman and he went on the hit that means he's automatically at third safe there was no play since he was going on the hit there was no play at all for him to go um, for him to, to get France uh, third now if let's reset this here and let's redo this again so since uh, Grossman was out, let's do the, remember we have to do the uh, drop throws, so let's go 6, 35, and remember we go to the drop throws table, and I have a friend who goes to this, the, the cross one first to see if that catcher's on there. So he sees, he rolled a 35, so he sees there's nothing there, so he knows there's not going to be a drop throw. Um, so let's just go back and set it up. So Grossman was out in that situation. And France is automatically a third. So let's reset that again. Let's do it a different way. Okay, so same thing. Garcia's at the plate. Base is loaded and he gets the nine. Okay, so now this time I'm going to um, try to throw for France. So for whatever reason, now these numbers, as you can see, can vary based on the runner's speed and the arm of the outfielder 
these ones just happen to be around 50 50 um, but let's say that uh, we decide to uh, we make a decision so I'm gonna say I'm gonna send both the runners on the hit so Grossman's goodness Machado we know scores since he was a uh, runner on third Grossman since I decided to send um, Fran everybody on the hit the play is gonna be on France and Grossman's automatically gonna score that take the extra base Okay, so then the play is going to be on France. So remember, um, base is loaded. Um, and runner on first can't be held. So he's going to get an extra one added. So he's going to go up to a uh, 19 chances out of 36. And that brings it to a dice roll 41 or less. So the only play here is going to be now on France trying to advance on the, um, on the throw here. So on the, on the hit. So let's go 19. Now, since I tried to take the extra base here, if you remember from the master boards, uh, since I decided to throw and make an attempt on France, remember our uh, batter here, Garcia's at first. And remember from the other video, if I make an attempt to retire a batter, um, then I have a possibility of advancing a trio runner there. So let's take a look at the chances there. So. Um, so I decide to throw for France. Remember, so Grossman scores, and our chance value is uh, 19. Let's see what that is. 19, but look at that number right below that. Uh, it says 18. That's the number, since I'm trying to throw for third, that's the number, um, we're gonna add that 18 to Garcia's speed of 15, and that's gonna be his chances of getting the second on a throw. So since I'm making an effort to try to get France a third, Garcia can take third, try to take second, and his chance would be pretty high. So remember, it would be 18 plus 15, it'd be 33. So how that sequence is gonna go is I'm gonna to decide to um, throw for France, and then well, after I make that decision as the uh, defensive manager, the offensive manager can now decide to uh, send Garcia on the throw. And they're going to say, yes, I'm going to try to send Garcia since it's such a high number, 33. And then one last thing we could do, if remember the cutoff play. So we can go back to the, the play result. Where were we here? Base is loaded. So remember on the nine, we're going for this uh, base is loaded. It was a uh, 41. Uh, so see this uh, six four there, it says, like there's in parentheses six four. That means that's the play if you decide to cut off and throw. So on this throw, if I decide to cut it off, France is automatically then gonna be safe. And now the play is gonna be in Garcia. So you can imagine the shortstop standing right around here um, has a cutoff man on this play and then Garcia is trying to go to second So France in that case if I decide to cut it off. He's automatically safe at third automatically Even though that was the pl player I was making the play on but I got to change it up since I decided to send Garcia So the shortstop is reading this play right about here. He sees Garcia going to second and he's gonna cut this off and make a play for Garcia. Now, what are the chances of Garcia being out or safe? So remember, we have 33 was his chance value. 33 is his chance value. I can cut that off. Let's get the, uh... and you remember on the cutoff play, we what we do is we reduce the chance by 15. So if Garcia's chance is 33, so that would be a 63 or less, I would have to knock 15 off of this 33, so that would be like 23, so that would be 18. So then I would have to roll 36 or less to be safe at second. But the downside for the uh, defense is you've given up on France. And now you're just trying to get Garcia, which may be a good play. It's actually about a 50-50 since Gar France was in 50-50. Now it's 50-50 to get him. 
All right, so I would roll and try to get Garcia, and my roll would have to be an 18, or I'd have to roll 36 or less to, for him to be safe or, or out at second. Now, one other way you could do it is you could still make the play on France, okay? And I could then say, well, I'm going to advance Garcia on the throw and still not cut it off. So I could actually have two chances there. So what I would do in that case is I would, I would throw for France and what his chances are. So remember that was, um, it was 19. So he had to roll a uh, 41 or less. Let's see what the clear off to France would be. Now Garcia is still going to try to go to second here. So it was 19, so it was 41 or less. He's out on that play. You roll for your drop throw still for the third baseman. One, 135. And let's just say third baseman is Cree Brian Hayes, who's a third baseman five. Check the drop throws, 135. There's no one there. So that is no drop throw. So France is out. Now, where does that 33 come in for Garcia? I could still make the play for Garcia trying to go to second. So I can nail him and possibly get a double play. So France would be out at third. Now, Garcia has a 33 um, out of 36 chance of being safe at second on that play. I would roll for that, 63 or less. So he would be out, so 20, so actually he'd be safe. So 33 or less, he'd be safe. So hopefully that helps out. Um, it's, it's kind of a lot there, but basically you gotta think of these things in like uh, sequences. Like you have to go, um, okay, on the offense, I mean, the guy gets a single. Then what is the uh, uh, offense gonna do with the base runners? And then the defense then decides which of the base runners they're going to throw for. And then the offense decides if they're going to throw for extra bases, if they're going to, uh, um, a tr which nut runner they're going to try to uh, throw out. And then if we do throw, we could decide if we want to send trio runners on the play too. So a lot of different ways you could do that. So like I said, what we ran through is we had a single, or we just tried to throw for Grossman. We saw what that was. Uh, we had a single where we just tried to throw for France and do a cutoff play. Remember that cutoff play was about 50-50 when France was going. Um, then we also tried to see if we're going to send the runner to second on the throw and cut that off. And then we also can try to do two plays. So we could still try to get France, not cut it off. And then that 33, which is that third line, that would be Garcia. We still have a chance there of trying to get Garcia. Even though it's very likely he's going to be safe with 33 out of 36 chances, we still have an opportunity to get him. So that's the play. That's the bases loaded play. Um, like I say, he's got to kind of like think of it sequentially, um, you know, to get this. Um, so that's about it for today. I hope you guys have a good uh, weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.